Hey, what's up, everybody? Memphis2857 here. Got my first nitro truck today. I've been waiting on it for, well, I ordered it Thursday, and it is Tuesday, so uh, pretty anxious about it. Finally got it. Um, I chose to go with the HPI Trophy Truggy 4.6. You can see me, the box is pretty huge. This car is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, um, which is pretty cool. cool. This thing, 420 bucks. A low seat, a little over 800. So uh, I can buy two of these for what I can buy a low seat for. Yes, I know the low seat is better, hands down, million times better. Uh, the reason I got went with the cheaper car, I'm a basher. I don't race. There are tracks around me I like to go over on the practice days and run around on the tracks and have fun. But I'm not a racer. Not I just I've raced dirt bikes my for a long time and. Uh, that's about as competitive as I want to be anymore. I'm getting old. I'm losing that competitive drive. But uh, yeah, so I went with this truck mainly for price point. It looks great. Uh, it's HPI. It's got the legendary 4.6 motor, same motor that's in the Savage. Uh, so you know it's going to be durable. And that was mainly what I wanted. I wanted something that was kind of durable. And like I said, it's my first Nitro. So uh, I wasn't going to go spend 800 bucks on something and then maybe not even like it. So. On with the unboxing, uh, we'll get her opened up here. I've already opened it up and peaked. I couldn't wait, um, and I had to get a few. I had to check on a few things. So, but it has been opened. But I put everything back for the most part the way it was, so you can see exactly how it comes out of the box. So, with further ado, that off. Here's how it looks in the box. Uh, it's packaged pretty well. Throw that. Got the bag of parts. I didn't open that. Got all the different shock clip, shock adjustment clips. Uh, got some extra servo horns, air filter. It's got batteries for the controller and the receiver, which I've got a hump pack charging right now. You might even be able to hear it. Um, here's the uh, what you would use in place of the hump pack. I just went on and got a hump pack. Uh, Make life a little easier. So, bag of parts. This deal. Here's the radio. I took it out of the packaging. Um, this radio, I don't know. Um, I would say mediocre at best. Uh, it don't even have knobs for your servo endpoints. You gotta, I think there's actually a tool in the bottom of it. Yeah. That you use. You see that? You gotta get out your little handy dandy plastic screwdriver to adjust your endpoints. So that's pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty disappointing if you ask me. But that's what HPI gives you. So uh, there she is. I'll get this out of the way and get the rest of the stuff. Got the used HPI sticker sheet. They've already pulled most of the stickers off and stuck them on the car for you, but there is a few leftovers. I guess you can stick on your pit box or something. Throw that down there. Here's the manual. Um, and an antenna tube that you don't need. But here's the manual. So, everything out of the box. Let's see this bad puppy. Man, this thing is a good looking car. Let's get this plastic off here so we can see what we got. These body clips are just huge. And they're already bent for you. That's really nice. I like that. So far, I'm really liking what I see. This is my first HPI product, too. Um, it's my first non-monster truck, my first HPI product, and my first Nitro. And that really kind of helped me decide um, where I was going to go with this, with my next RC, too, because I wanted a Nitro, didn't want a monster truck, was really liking the way the truggies looked. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about HPI. There it is. Man, that thing is just beautiful. Really a good looking vehicle. The suspension, definitely going to need some uh, spacers in it. it is, uh, and it's under dampened. Probably some thicker shock oil. It's really, really soft. So, uh, probably once I get it broke in, I'll work on that a little bit. But yeah, it, it's going to have to have some spacers in the in the shocks before we can even run it to be honest with you because it's i mean it's already almost on the ground but 
if this truck isn't good for anything else, anything at all, what it is good for is looks. This thing, I mean, wow. HPI really, really hit it out of the park with the with just the look of the truck. I love the orange anodized aluminum. I hope it's showing up orange on the camera, but it is orange. It's a really pretty orange. Um, it looks to be well built, solid aluminum chassis. Uh, the steering seems pretty sloppy, and I, I know that there's shims in here instead of bearings, and it, I don't know, it looks like maybe just a little bit of, nothing serious though, nothing that can't be taken care of. It does have the 4.6 K-Star engine, same engine that's in the Savage uh, 4.6, so that ought to uh, be a pretty good engine. It's got a center diff, so which is really, really, doesn't have much uh, resistance to it at all. I don't know how that's going to work. I've got some diff holes, so uh, we'll see how that works. But the, uh, I don't know, all the diffs seem pretty soft. May need some thicker oil and all that. Which, you know, any of your RCs come under dampened and, and uh, everything needs to be stiffened up and thickened up. And they do that. Uh, I'm really not sure why they do it. I think they do it to maybe uh, prevent you from tearing it up right out of the box. So you don't call in with warranty issues. Anyway, it's got sway bars on it, front and rear. It's got all dog bones. Uh... Yep, dog bones, dog bones, dog bones, and, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, they're all dog bones, but uh, they're really thick, look pretty good. Also, one thing I'm seeing that I really, really like, and I don't know if you can see it right there, right here, it's got boots over the shock uh, rods, little rubber dust covers, which is nice. I mean, that's just, you know, that's great. So, the reason this thing is so cheap, it's, four, like I said, 420 bucks versus 800 It's a pull start. It doesn't come with anything. Uh, the only thing that comes in the box with it is batteries. So, you, you know, uh, it don't have the roto start or nothing like that. If you need the roto start, you got to buy it. Uh, it's got a cheap piece of garbage radio, as we've seen. But, uh... For what I'm going to do, I think it's going to work out pretty good. And uh, if nothing else, I can set it on the shelf and just let it look pretty. Because I'm just blown away at the look of this thing. It's so nice looking. Um, I see dual disc brakes here, which is pretty good. Hopefully it's got good brakes. Uh, it's got a, it's got a nice chassis stiffener there. Yeah, so another thing I see that I don't like at all. I hate it. It's just awful. Actually, there's two things because I just seen something else. One, it's got Eclipse, and two, it's all Phillips head hardware. It doesn't have Allen or Hex head or you know whatever you call it. It doesn't have that. It's all Phillips head hardware, and I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. You can see them here. Oh wait, it looks like some of the heavier duty stuff, like the motor mounts, got Allen heads, but everything else is Phillips head. Man, these screws are all recessed. That's just, man, that's just pretty. That uh, almost make you hate to even scratch it up. Got some big old beefy heavy A arms, front and rear. So, uh, another thing I'm seeing is this thing is still set up. It's only got single shocks on it, but the A arms and the mounts are there. If a guy or a girl wanted to go ahead and do a dual shock setup, you can see it's right there. It's, it's ready for it. All you would have to do is buy the other ball mount up here and you could run dual shocks on it. And uh, honestly, if, uh, if changing the shock oil doesn't help, which I'm sure it will, uh, and adding some preload to it, that may be in order to stiffen this thing up a little bit for the kind of driving I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, the tires feel pretty good. They look really good too. They got a nice... Uh, a nice design to them. They're kind of stiff. The wheels on it are beautiful. Look really good. I'm just really liking the look of it as of right now. 
this thing has been out in the U.S. since uh, right around the first year. It's been out in the U.K. since, best I can tell, late 2009, early 2010. They released it in the U.K. There's not a lot of them out there. There's, I'm kind of worried about product support on it. That may be another issue. I'm lucky I have a good, a really good local hobby shop. So, uh, I may not have too much of an issue, but I know if you, uh, if you Google the HPI Trophy Truggy 4.6, Google even kind of laughs at you because there's just not much out there about it. Um, which, you know, I'll be the guinea pig. We'll try it out and see how it works. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it works. But yeah, that's my unboxing of it. I've got, uh. I'm going to run outside as soon as I get done with this and fire it up and do the, uh, start working on some of the break-in of it and uh, we'll see how it runs. So be looking for a running video coming up soon. I thought about maybe doing the video of breaking it in just, uh, but uh, it's my first nitro. So who am I to tell you all how to break in a nitro? So I'll let you all figure that out on yourself or watch another video of it. But, uh, I'm really not liking that slop in the steering. There's a lot of play in the front end. The back's nice and tight. But there's a lot of play in the front end. Just kind of everywhere, really. I don't know. I'll have to look into how we can tighten that up. But, I mean, you can see that. That's pretty, pretty bad. Let's see here. Let's see if you can see. That's all play. I'm not moving the servo at all. So, it's even got play this way. So, it's some... It's just... It looks like a lot of it's in the steering hubs, and then a lot of it's right here in the servo arm. It's kind of sloppy. So, I'll look into that. I did see on HPI's website they offer some ball bearing upgrades for the steering, so that's probably a lot of it, because I know there's bushings in here somewhere. I think they're right here in these steering arms. But Gosh, it looks so good, I hate to even take it outside and get it dirty. It's just, <laughs> just look at that thing. That is just too nice. That's, uh really really a pretty truck put the body back on it one more time just to give you a look at it because it sure does look good I'm probably gonna get the if I if I like this whole nitro adventure I've never had nitro I've said that a dozen times now if I decide that I like the nitro and I like this truck I'm gonna put a roto start on it you put it on there pretty cheap but, uh, looks like it'd be nice and easy to get to the fuel. They got the windows cut out and everything. So, but for right now, we're going to run it and see what happens. I'm seeing some nice GoPro places. I don't know how well my GoPro is going to work with that nitro engine on there because I'm sure there's tons of vibration. But it's also looking like I may be able, maybe, able to get my GoPro stuck in here where we can look out this window. Maybe I can stick it right to the fuel tank and get some nice onboard footage without the vibration but otherwise I know I can get it here that body's good and solid right there so be looking for some GoPro movies and uh, hopefully this thing is as fun as I'm thinking it's gonna be so yeah until next time HPI Trophy Chuggy 4.6 there it is there you have it pretty simple pretty cheap uh, it's the way I like them. So, till next time, thanks for watching. Subscribe. C please, please subscribe. Uh, I love making these videos. I love playing with the, my YouTube channel. And and uh, for some reason, I get a real joy out of uh, doing this. And when people subscribe, it makes me feel pretty good. Uh, so, subscribe. Keep your eyes open for some running videos of this thing. There's not many running videos on YouTube at all, so hopefully I can do some justice and get some good ones out there. Because the ones that are out there are awful. They're horrible. So hopefully we can get some good videos um, and see what this thing will do. So until next time, Mims2857, have a good one.